Okay, hi YouTube. Um, it's been a while since I made any videos, and it'll probably be a while still, uh, because I'm at home now. But soon I'll be moving into my apartment for school, so hopefully I'll be going up there often and making tons of videos, and I'll have to come up with lots more things to talk about, but hopefully it'll work and it'll be fun. Um, I just wanted to post a video about a discussion that's been happening more and more often, I see, which is about uh, trans people disclosing the fact that they're trans um, and who they should be disclosing that to, and then people are um, arguing quite fervently about um, when that should be disclosed who gets to know, and whose responsibility it is to, dis to disclose or um, inquire or ask for that information. So I'd just like to talk about that. And on, on the overall topic of trans disclosure in relationships, I think it's an important part of a healthy relationship. Obviously, it's a trust thing, and it's a it's uh it's knowing about your partner it's so your significant other or significant others can know who you are and if you have a relationship based on trust you need to tell them that at some point but that's totally up to you when you tell them is your decision it's not theirs and how you tell them how much you tell them and what questions you have to answer. It's totally up to you. But a lot of the conversation on the topic of transgender disclosure is about um, casual dating and like in like being in a bar, we'll say. If someone comes up and starts talking to you, should you, you know, should you say, oh, I'm trans, just in case they that's that's something that's expected by s some people in this argument and I think that's preposterous um, it's a lot of times it feels like uh, people that want this immediate I'm trans or a very very quick version of that um, are trying to uh, define a trans person by that very idea that they are trans, as opposed to using the fact that they're trans as part of the definition of the person. So that is to say, they are seeing, they want to see the person only in the context of them being trans. They don't want to see the that the person is trans in the context of seeing the person, which is how it should be. So this... Um, desire for everybody to know that someone that they might want to date or might want to have sex with or might want to go to dinner with is trans is um, really uh, kind of misleading. They, they portray it as just wanting to know and that they feel lied to or deceived in some way when they're not told. And that's not true. Um, it's not really deceiving at all. And that's just because um, in this, in like a casual situation, it's just that. It's casual. I mean, you don't have to know everything. I'm sure that there are plenty of things that people don't find out in casual dating situations. So why is this one so much more important than the other ones? And even if it is... Um, if you have some displeasure of trans people, you don't like trans people, um, it shouldn't be the responsibility of every single trans person that you're ever going to flirt with or try to date to tell you because we shouldn't have to assume that everybody hates us. Um, so if you don't like trans people 
then you should probably be proactive and try to unearth that information. Of course, you can't really be too proactive because that's kind of rude. And some people are scared of getting outed. Or people that are stealth maybe will think that you know something. So it is, um, it's shaky ground. It's a little bit of an awkward situation. But it's definitely not the responsibility of the trans person to tell everyone that they're trans just in case that person happens to not like trans people. So that's that. Hopefully I'll have um, more up soon. Until then, see you later.